Hi, I'm Matthias and welcome to the Tracksoft blog. Today I'm going to talk about how to publish great content to market your tour and activity company. While content marketing has been around for quite a while, it's only really begun to gain momentum in the corporate world in the last two or three years. Today it seems every second business, regardless of industry or size, has someone blogging to drive traffic to their website and nurture conversions. It's just the laughing things. Blogs are only one part of content marketing though. There are a lot of other ways to create awareness about your business via online content. And here's a breakdown of the main types of content you can consider publishing. Also a few examples with links in the description. Number one, photos. Since you're in the travel industry, the one type of content that you should be publishing more than any other are photos. Visual content marketing is now itself a type of marketing. Whether it's for Instagram, your website, blog or Facebook, good imagery is a key for your content marketing strategy. To help you get the best photos, download our ebook, the ultimate mobile photography guide from the Tracksoft ebook library or watch the recording of our visual content marketing webinar recorded with Colm Hanradi. Number 2. Videos. Videos used to mean a 2-3 minute piece of motion picture on YouTube. Times have changed. Today it means much more than that. Video might be a video tweet, streaming on Facebook Live or posting a series of videos on Snapchat. Whatever it is, make sure it's engaging. Number 3. Blog posts. When businesses talk about content marketing, written content is usually what they think of. The other 9 points in this post explain there is more to it than that. Blogs are good for SEO, they help voice your business as an alternative voice, and the list goes on. If you're considering to start or already have a blog, but you want to improve your content, stay tuned for next week's episode, where Lucy is going to tell you what to blog about and how to make people care about it. You can also download her ebook, the writing handbook for tour and activity providers from our library. Number four, interviews. Interview someone. For that piece of content, all you need to do is find someone interesting and interview them with some questions. It's that simple. For an example, read my dear colleague Nicole's interview with Viator's VP Business of Development, the one and only Ken Froling. Number five, microblogs. A microblog is essentially just another word for tweet. And as tweets don't take too long to create, you should be able to post one or two from your smartphone and easily add this uh, procedure to your content marketing strategy. Whether you're going to see any benefits from it is another thing. But either way, since tweets are short and sweet, you have no excuse for not publishing them. Number six, podcasts. Podcasts were extremely popular back then. Today, they are making a comeback. They are a bit more time consuming than other forms of online content to create. But if you want to try something different and you have a bit of time to spare, they are worth considering. Number seven, newsletters. Email marketing is by far one of the oldest type of content marketing and one that is as effective today as it was a decade ago. Com, whom I mentioned before, has written about it not once but twice. You can find those links also in, this, in the description of this video. He has also written about uh, ways to collect email addresses and different email service providers you could use. Read those posts and you will find lots of reasons to engage in email marketing. Number 8. Live blogging. Live blogging can be done on a lot of different platforms. You can stream directly from Facebook or Periscope. You can live tweet, live snap, or you can live blog directly to an online blog. Whatever way you choose, the great thing about live blogging is that the content is created on the spot so you don't have to put much work in it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of my list. Um, I hope I managed to give you a few tips about what kind of content you could use when you're creating your content marketing strategy. Check out the links in the description, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for the next episode. Ciao!